are going to do a pottery class. A woman named Sandy from Pottery Co. From Pottery Co. invited Johnny and I to uh, a free class. So we're going to go do it now. Yeah, so we're going to go do that now. Are these like painted? Yeah, they are okay. painted. And then towards your right hand, I mean, sorry, your left hand side, that's all Whoa. carvings. That's cool. Uh, the skill set that you have, we can definitely do those. Is something like this crazy to attempt first time? It is a little bit crazy, <laughs> maybe on the smaller side. <laughs> Very thank you. So that's the electric one. Yeah, which is actually you just lock it in there, turn yeah. it on, and you walk away and it's fine. <laughs> the gas kill, you have to man it. How much does something like that cost to make? Um, I had it made for around 35000 dollars Holy. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I've had lots of issues with it. Yeah. Um, so I've had it um, re down a few times. Oh, um, man. Um, that glaze particles that I mix. So. And these, you get these from Korea. How do you get this sort of like, um, is that it just like shaving? Yeah, it is. So that's the textures that I was talking about. Mm -hmm. um, you can definitely add textures by carving, uh, simple ones. And these are nice on bowls of that size as mm -hmm. well. So if you pop on an apron, so you're going to... Well, are you both right-handed today? Yep. Yes. Um, we're going to use our right dominant hand and this mm -hmm. part of the flesh. We're actually going to push down and with our left hand, we're going to pick up and then push down and we do that consecutively and we're actually going to, to like spin it, it. yeah so once you pick up the left you actually when you're picking it up you're Pretty actually right. rotating it um, if you actually position your hand and rotate and just press down on top of each other that shape should flow. But I'm not going to judge you actually because no one knows how to do this part. And um, so when you get there, just relax your wrist and you're just going to rotate it like this in between your hands. And we're just going to big bang. Yeah, and we're just going to tap. Really big tap. And then I'm just going to test you. Oh, we're going <laughs> to I mean, these are minor ones. They actually sometimes look small, but they actually go through deep. Oh, no. But um, most balls will have some degree of that. Okay. Ooh. That's a bubble. That's okay. a bubble. Yeah, so... Oh, but it is like noticeable. That one is, oh. yeah. So there's actually no foolproof way of knowing. And this is oh. the yeah. first step. Um, and some people, there's a good chance to add bubble as you're doing it as well because each fold you do, if you don't do it close enough, I guess yeah. you fold in an air bubble as well. <laughs> but before I do the demonstration, I'm just yeah. going to give you a... 
When you're ready to start, you're going to start by eyeballing the center of your pan here. You're just going to get your clay between your hands like this mm -hmm. and you're going to hit it really down right in the center. Should we do that now? Uh, no, so I'll just do the demonstration first. and then I'll get you. I will go through the steps when you're okay. doing it as well. Cool. Okay, so once you've got it, you're really going to hold your clay between your two hands and you're actually going to hit it as hard as you can. I want to make sure that I actually start balanced and symmetrical and that's definitely going to help if you start with a shape that's not symmetrical that you're just making your life a lot harder for yourself we're going to start with spinning the wheel and then left hand and what we're going to do is just seal the edge and once it's ready you're going to grab your sponge pick up some water and you're going to uh, wet it generously. I start moving, picking up the speed but also moving up with my hands and what I've done is I've actually pushed all of that um, overhang that I had with my pinky and I've taken it to the top. This process is called coning. down yeah. as you're doing it as well. I'm trying to follow this line. Should yeah. I lift it up again? No. Oh. You're just going to pull it to the middle as much as you can. Let's turn it around a bit. Ah! That's it. Pick up some water and press in and down as it's spinning. That's it. Hold over the top, that's it. Start spinning your wheel and you're gonna get your knife blade and you're gonna slip it right into that groove that you made. And that's oh. essentially all the clay that you're gonna push up to the top. So if you actually sit lower, that's it. You're gonna have better control at doing that. Yeah. Is there ever like too much water at this stage? Not at this stage, unless it starts to really get, but it's fine at the moment. I can still see that the clay still has some body. You'll yeah. notice straight away. It just becomes like the slip, right? Yeah, slippery, but also very weak when you try to pull. And then use your finger to mark. Is that too low? You, I mean, you need to go lower. Okay. Yeah, about there. So if you spin and just do a line so you know for yourself, yep. Okay. That's it. We can keep that. That's actually really cute. So if you put it there, I'll trim that. And then just again with yep, the... Yep, again. So, oh, no. that. She did the same thing. <laughs> so I think both of you, what's happened is you got so much strength at the bottom half. So when you start to stretch, you have to lighten your strength. Oh, uh, so we're really like closing in like that, yeah, right? You're really you're just using the strength of your finger when you're doing the pulling for the bowl. Okay. Do I just... So yeah, I'm just put that on the side. Okay. Yeah. Because the top part is really yeah. narrow. Yeah. Okay. That's it. And we're going to start. But now we're going to limit the amount of water you're using at mm -hmm. this stage when you're forming. Oh, okay. I'm at the end. That's it. So <laughs> you're, right here, you're going to be very delicate with your strength. So okay. most of your strength are coming from your fingertip now. Okay, can so I make it like go higher now? Yeah, yeah. you can, but it's I can it's very like thin. some areas yeah. are quite thin, which means that there's a chance that it will flop. Yeah, um, so it's better I to just leave it. Leave it. So maybe for the next one we can. You will get okay. better as your okay. body gets used to it. So that's it. You're gonna pick up your wooden one it's and you're gonna bad. start. Yeah, it's not like, bad at like all. Fun? Um, yeah, and then so, like that. Right? So you're gonna go down um, at that angle, the other angle. Yeah. Um, hold the yep, like that, mm -hmm. and you're gonna actually st hold it at 45 degree angle, mm -hmm. like this. Oh, okay, got it. And then you're gonna go down first, mm -hmm. and then once you're down about a centimeter, that's when you're gonna uh, flip your knife over to the side. Come on, let's do this. Yep. That's it. Go down. You can start flipping now. That's it. 
perfect. Okay, stop. You got your cutter, string cutter. This is my, you're gonna start off my first you're gonna one. Just doing here. Johnny's first one. Don't worry too much if it's not perfect. Um, can you trim so it? When we do the trimming, we can correct that as well. I'm pretty happy with that. Yep. Start there. Mm. Push. Yep, now flip your knife. Okay. You're ready to cut. Would you say this is like an expensive hobby to have at home? Yeah. yeah. The wheel itself will cost you about two and a half grand. How's it? Pretty fun. It's really fun. Pretty fun. Are you going to build a whole pottery studio now? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
That's our pottery class done. Got a little clay mask. <laughs> we thought we were going to finish at one. Yeah, we thought we'd be finished and then have lunch, but we were there. What time is it now? It's four. It's now four. And we've been there for four. We've been there for seven hours, but didn't feel like that long at all. Uh, we're, now we're going to go home and tidy up for dinner. Where are we going? <laughs> what are we doing? Eating food. Where are we going? I'm driving you somewhere. Oh. We are going to Ezra. Ezra. It's Israeli restaurant. Israel? Mm -hmm. Restaurant in the city for dinner with a lot of people in the action. Wait. Wait. And then wait till you see the face that goes with it. <laughs> so many are in the United States. Wow, thank you. Cool. <laughs> Dinner. It's pretty good. 